Hi, this is Shadi. Today we will be discussing one particular technique found in Aikido. I understand that the criticism that Aikido gets, however, we're not talking about the methodology of training, but the technique itself. And much like anything, if you put a lot of resistance, people will develop strategies and eventually will make something work. And I'll even show something related to it in competition. So the technique is called iriminage, meaning an entering body throw. And it's very much like a lot of techniques you find where you're taking one particular limb or an extremity of the body. It means you have to keep it close to you because the closer something is to you in grappling, the more you have control over it. And this is key, much like the two-on-one, the arm drag, uh, ankle pick, etc. So what's interesting about this technique is that it's also found in a in an old judo kata from the 1880s designed for self-defense. So without further ado, let's start with the technique. So here you see a basic form. Of course, an Aikido drawing big circles is part of demonstrating the philosophy that's not what we're looking at here. So you get behind or somewhat close to the side, and then you keep the neck close to you, to your chest, because that's where you will have more control over it. So let's see it in a more dynamic way. So you can see the way you cut down with your arm at the very end. It can be very dynamic and also dangerous. Here you see the direct entry. So let's take a look at Saito Sensei. Now, the way you cut down, it doesn't have to be a closed line, meaning on the neck, because anyone with strong chest, neck and shoulders will easily resist. I personally was taught that you put the bicep diagonal to the face, and then you cut down as if you are swimming. And the closer they are to you, they will fall down because this will Put, bend their spine backwards so no matter how strong they are how heavy they are they will fall so close lining is not the only way of doing it and here you see it's again it's a demonstration it's just showing the movement the harmony the the eye key aspect but the technique in and of itself is still there so let's take a look at some competitive aikido granted the rule set can be bizarre to a lot of grapplers but that's their way of maintaining their expression. Here you see he's trying to go in for the uh, sumiotoshi and other throws. Now here, this one is a more dynamic variation of it and more uh, offensive. It's called shomen ate or a you know, front strike, so to speak. So here you see the same hand opened. It's on the chin and then you enter through and put the head down very similar yet um, I would say it's more dangerous you have far less control on what happens to your uke because you're not grabbing the neck you're not grabbing anything I know many competitors you see in highlights they actually grab the pants with the other hand here you see they're trying to uh, doing the sumi otoshi and doing um, other aikido throws and wrist locks you see them try to enter and doing it but failed but here you see something quite nice which is a breath throw here another failed attempt here you see the wrist lock attempt but again they, they're not allowed to grip it, otherwise it becomes judo so they're only sticking to aikido technique here you see the kokunage and then it was countered with another breath throw or kokunage so let's take a look at yoko uchi found in the kime no kata i believe if i'm not mistaken it's around the 1886 or 1885 when it was fully established so yoko is side and uchi is a strike and uh, or a hit and so it's very similar to the open hand side strike of aikido uh, to the temple but it's with a closed fist or closed hammer fist and so you let it pass collect the head and the arm enter with the entire body and then you cut down the cutting down is not the throw itself it's your entering body that's doing all the work hence the name it's not a clothesline it's like 
I'm doing an arm drag only with my wrists. It will never work. So here you see this is the uh, target, which is the Kasumi or the temple. And then you duck, letting it pass, enter with the entire body, cut down, and you go in. And then you can go into a shoulder lock or head and arm lock or pin and then or here you can just strike back so again this is not for competitive reasons this is a self-defense drill that was developed in the 19th century so the, the goal is not to pin and win it's really about finishing someone off so this technique has many variations as you can see head and arm together uh, the shomen ate where you grab the chin and push on it and bending the neck backwards which easily uh, unbalances them especially when they're on the move again other competitors they do it with either grabbing the knee like a knee pick and the palm on the chin or uh, grabbing the hand there's just many variations to it the basic form which is the irimi nage if you're gripping the neck from behind and then you're doing that swimming motion uh, as you enter in again it's not the hand that's doing the throw it's the entire body going in that's the name of the throw it's a, a throw done by an entering body so irimi uh, or hairimas which is to enter or uh, and uh, me at the end the kanji is for a body uh, used in in words such as jishin jibun jishin etc so uh, it's about a body that enters and it unbalances and it's at the end where the arm plunges to finish the throw it's not a close line like you see steven seagal do it in his movies or in professional wrestling that's not it and i do believe it is misunderstood but as you can see when you put the head close to you as you are grappling and then enter in you can see that it can be used for self-defense and also control and it will get you directly into a head and arm pin or choke so it is quite uh, interesting it used to be one of my favorites back when i was practicing uh, it is safe it is fun to do and if you are receiving it you can fall uh, in a more freeing way and uh, you can be also put down gently so i really like this technique uh, tell me what you think down below if you have anything else to add consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content this was shady and as always thank you for listening